it's a war it's a war so you have to fight it out you have to conquer tuberculosis from very beginning i still remember telling many people that i wanted to be a doctor and believe me now i'm very thankful for it anjali kitni umar hai tumhari 16 16 saal ki tb or tuberculosis because it's an infectious disease it spreads in the community by air so if you stop the patient from transmission of the disease you are doing benefit to the society it gives you a satisfaction which no other specialty or no other profession will give you it's the best service you can do to a mankind you had innumerable problem with the patient of tuberculosis tb is a social disease I have seen ladies been thrown out of their houses children and senior people been discriminated for having tb families not being in contact because of tuberculosis being a chronic disease with long treatment you get delusion you get depressed there are cases where i have seen that patients have committed suicide that was how much they dreaded tuberculosis This is the dot center. These are the first line drugs. This is completely 6 months of treatment. I don't know if you've ever had to take a course of antibiotics, but I know a lot of people that won't even finish a 10-day course of antibiotics, let alone a 180-day course of antibiotics. People stop because they start to feel better after a month because the drugs do work. So they stop coughing, they stop taking the drugs, and the germs that survive are the ones that are most resistant to those drugs. Now we only have about five frontline drugs for the fight against tuberculosis. When those drugs stop becoming effective, we're starting to get multi-drug and extensively drug-resistant TB. If you're unfortunate enough to have drug-resistant TB, you can count on being on antibiotics for a couple years, and it will take its toll on you. Treating multi-drug resistant tuberculosis for two years, it's a challenge for any chest physician. The drugs are quite toxic. The patient will have a lot of problems. So MDR TB has been ignored throughout the world including in India but this has truly been a global challenge currently uh, around the world about 3 or 4% of new TB cases are multi drug resistant but the more troubling issue in more recent years has been that even the second line drugs which have been used to treat the MDR TB don't really work Drug resistance has a particular threat to society, to global society, by virtue of the great difficulty one has in treating these diseases. Extensively drug resistant TB can be up to a thousand times more expensive to treat. The costs of treating those kinds of tuberculosis are so high that in many countries they're just a death sentence. We can treat MDR but we We all know that even with the best treatment regimens you don't have more than 60-70% of people actually surviving and and doing well that's been our experience it's this very old drugs that we are still actually dreading on to treat the patient and when they resist them sometimes we actually reach the end of the road where we don't even have more drugs to give patients and then we just send them home to die so I was at home but I was on a Sunday I woke up I switched on the television and it was there was no sound. And the doctor confirmed that I am actually permanently deaf. Now there's nothing they can do. She was on an MDR TB regimen, which includes an injection.